All right. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have done your reading assignment, okay? All right. So, um, have you started the reading assignment already? Okay, great. All right, so for the reading assignment, um, okay, just stay on the first question. All right, you're going to be given the topic and you, it will usually tell you to download and install certain things. So if you look in the task area, you'll see it's telling you to download and install a working Python environment. All right, um, have you downloaded a Python environment already? You have? Okay, great. All right, um, okay, using IDLE shell. Okay, um, there's another one that you can use. Um, can you click on a new tab? I'm gonna show you another one that you can use since we're using your screen right now. All right. So you can type in PyCharm in a Google search. It's P-Y-C-H-A-R-M. P-Y, not, not, not pie as in food. You're, you're thinking about food right now. <laughs> PyCharm, so P-Y-C-H-A-R-M. PyCharm, and you can type the word. Uh, well, you don't have to type download, that's fine. Not Python, PyCharm. The name of the editor is called PyCharm, and you use it to compile Python code. Let me type it in the chat in case you're not um, figuring out how to spell it. There is the spelling. You, um, so that you can understand how to test your code um, with replit.com. So just give me a second here. Let me just start this one more time. All right, so let me go ahead and run this and just make sure that this works. All right, great, it works. All right, so I'm just gonna borrow some code from this that was in the assignment and just replace this print statement with it. All right. Uh, you, you you can, but, but you, at some point you'll want to start using the Eclipse ID. Okay, so what you would do, whenever you're asked to do a print screen of your code, you're going to keep the word as main here, okay? Because Replit requires you to use main for this, but you know that really it would be superpower.java, okay? In this case. So when you want to do the print screen, you just do the code first, run the code first, and then you change the name to superpower, and then you can do a screenshot, okay? But, but, but you already know that you already run it with the word as main, but just do the screenshot right here like this. But then when you want to test the code, you, t you change the name back to main. That's the only limitation for the replit.com, okay? All right, so let... No, it's not necessarily with, with Eclipse, okay. But let's go back to the assignment and I see what else is there. So it's just guess, getting, use, getting us used to running this code here. Now next we'll add the java java x dot swing dot option pane, but I'll pause and save that for a while. Let me just make sure that uh, we can get um, Sonia started up. Okay, so let me stop presenting. Okay, Sonia, did you log into your Moodle already? Oh, she left. Oh, I didn't realize that she left. Okay, so I guess I can continue with you then because uh, there's nobody else here that wants CS11 no one help. It doesn't seem that way. All right, so for this one here, you need to import the J option pane, okay? So you add that line to the following of your, to the top of the code. This this will be a standard thing. It doesn't matter if you're using, doesn't matter what you, what you call the 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 file. You you will be using this as well. Uh, let, let, let me. Oh, I thought I was sharing my screen. Sorry, <laughs> I keep forgetting them <laughs> when I stop presenting. Um, entire screen and all right there we go okay so let me go back to the document so we need to import java x dot swing option j option pane and you put that at the top of the code okay so you go above the class and you say import 
Java X dot swing dot J and it's and the J O is capital, okay? J O and P is capital. P A N E. Now this is going to be used so that you can have a graphical output. So you see here, you only seen superpowers to the rescue as text output, but if you want to have a graphical pop-up, then you need to use the J Option Paint class. So that's why you use the import. Import allows you to bring code into your program that gives you extra features to do. So I'm actually going to keep both of them side by side so you can see what it looks like. Debug code. So this should work now. Let me go ahead and run. All right, and notice what's happening here, Hassan. Notice that it gives me a graphical output that says Super Powers to the Rescue. Previously, remember what happened? When we had the, let me just um, delete this and show you. When we had the regular output, when, when we do the display with regular output using system out print line, this is what happens on the screen. Just look over here. Uh, what's, what's happening now? What did I miss? Oh, I'm missing uh, one of the closing bra braces. That's also something we always have to be careful about because they come in pairs. All right. Okay, let me go ahead and run that. Run this. All right. So notice here, it prints out just in text. Okay. All right. When we use the J Option pane. It prints it out as a graphical display. So they're, 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 they're just showing you two different ways that you have of displaying information on the screen. You can use the, the text command line style or you can use the Java Swing J Option Pane class to have it being graphical. Let me just do that one more time to show you. And there we have it. Okay. All right, awesome. So in terms of this assignment, um, there are more things for you to add to it. Sure.